hello guys. We're here today to fix my cupcakes I did last night because as you can see I took off the tops. The bottoms are fine but the top um, and I won't be able to upload the bottom the making of the bottom of those. Um, of course, I didn't want to upload the top because there was a disaster, and I'm going to try them over. Because I used this piping tip here. This is the Rushing Ball piping tip. And they pipe beautifully, except for the middle. If you're piping a cupcake, I, I don't know. I even tried turning and lifting it off. But you see how it does not all come to exact point into the middle here? So it left a big old gaping hole in the middle of my ice cream cones slash um, cupcakes because before I used that with the soap, I used it for my son's baby shower cupcakes and it did the same thing. So these are wonderful piping tips. I just wish they all went down to a point to the very tip here because other than that, they leave a hole. So I'm going to repipe them again today. Um, they was cute too, except for the big old hole in the middle. Other than that, they would have been just fine. So, I won't be able to upload the bottom half of the making of this, but the top I will, guys. And I'm extremely sorry about that. But I do have another one of the making of these. I wasn't going to upload the video to this one either, but I will upload my mistakes as well. Um, I'm not trying to say I'm perfect, but hardly ever do I have any mistakes. That just fell right in there, didn't it? It sure did. <laughs> that fell on my TD. But anyways, you can see these are not perfect cup or ice cream cones. So I wanted to redeem myself and make another batch. This one's not so bad, but this one, as you can see, it's got a start point, end point. And of course, they're going to keep falling off. Okay, anyways, I had to redeem myself. So, let me get this one out of here. It done fell in here. So, a little thing. Okay, let me get my... Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Let me stir up my TD a little bit. I'm going to make these white with um, brown jojoba beads in it. Make it look like a vanilla bean. got some rebatch back here in the, I don't know if you guys can see or not. Yeah, you can see. Oh, goodness gracious, that's too heavy. Uh -huh. You can see my cat, but there's my rebatch back there. Goodness gracious. Why did I just throw that in there? Okay, anyways. I should have had this done. I hate making you guys watch this part. This is boring. And I'm splashing it out everywhere. Okay, good, 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 good job, Christina. Let me get this all mixed up and I'll bring you back. Okay, we're back. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me have to do that. That's just the boring part. And, let's see. Probably going to have to pause just so we can wait for this to get solid. Which it don't take long. My recipes are pretty decent. I found a good recipe. For piping and I think I'm gonna keep it so hmm. um, let me put let me think I think I want to put some uh, powder in here I need to use it up before it starts going bad I don't know if it does go bad or not I never did ask the person I purchased it off of but I need to use it up. It's the honey powder. I forgot to put it in the last time. I always add my um, powders or kaolin clays or whatever to my um, oil before I add my lye. So. And should we put some 
Nah, we'll leave that part out. Oh. I was gonna put some oatmeal in it, but we'll leave that part out this time. You see, I got a bag, a bag full of goodies there. Good and mixed up. It's good enough. I had a video up, guys, and look. <laughs> sometimes I forget when I'm doing a video whether or not I want my talking in the background. Um, a lot of times, if my family's here, I'll put music over it because they like to just come in and talk to me. And sometimes we cuss. We're a cussing family. Not gonna lie. Um, I was raised around it. My kids were raised around it. Um, there are certain cuss words we don't say. I'm sorry, but, um, you know, like GD or JC, we don't like those words around here. Um, we do throw the F-bomb out a lot. So, um, I had a video up, uh, my yellow and black toxic trance. It was just a test video anyways, a test, um, soap. So, um, <laughs> somebody told me that I had, um, some cussing in it and that some haters, which I can understand that because I do have haters, um, We'll get on there and report my video, I guess, even though I've seen tons of other videos with cussing in them. Um, very popular people, especially Christine from uh, Nail Logical. Uh, she cusses all the time, and none of her videos ever come down. But anyways, um, just in case, and thank you for the person who warned me, because I was not aware that that video had cussing in it. It's been a while. I think I was sitting on my YouTube for like three weeks before I even it was sitting in private. Uh, I do that a lot. I'll make tons of soap, upload the videos, and keep them as private, and then just upload them as I go. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you. I took the video down. Not a big deal. Um, it was just a test quick video anyways. So, other than that, guys, if you hear me cussing, sorry ahead of time. I am a cusser. I cuss like a sailor. Um, I try to keep it decent when I know I'm going to be talking, because I don't want you guys to... Uh, uh, your kids walking in the room or something and hearing cuss words when you don't want them to. That's the only reason why. Other than that, I could care less because I'm an adult and I could do as I please. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's get started. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me bull crap around. So, and by the way, while I am talking and not video or musicking over this one, I want to say to the people who get on my page and my channel, and uh, hit the dislike that's all gravy with me because you guys gave me a view when you came to my page and hit that dislike so go ahead keep coming to my page and keep hitting that dislike button I don't care <laughs> y'all are nuts plenty of videos on YouTube that I do not like but instead of hitting the dislike button I take my butt on somewhere you know don't watch it if you don't like it period okay let's get this mixed up with some of this white real quick where it gets ah uh, looks like it already is let me throw this in the microwave It's melted down enough. I just need a little bit to mix up our white here. So we can throw it back in our bowl. I have pre-mixed my titanium dioxide before, but it does not last very long. So I don't know how much more I'm going to do that. So and you guys know I don't like to add my colorants like just by hand, or by hand, good gracious, um, without oil, 
without a base because it does get uh, clumpy. Especially TD. TD, even in this oil, it's still going to be hard to um, get all this out of here and get it mixed up well. My soap is over here bubbling. Here. One of this white. Might have to add a little bit more. Yeah, we're making a mess. Okay, let me turn a little bit more 2D in this. It's gonna have to be ah, shook up anyways. I got this TD from Nature's Garden, by the way. I did a little bit of a little small haul the other day. You guys know I don't like to do that, and this is why, because it's clumpy in there. Looks white enough. Not need more mixing. Get this cleaned off. See. Need to add my hoba beads in there before it gets too thick. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, let's get these hoba beads over here. Oh, come on, gloves. Work with me, not against me. I've had these. I hope it beats forever. This is already starting to get thick. I like this recipe. Oh, holy crap. I just like to throw soap everywhere is what I like to do. Makes it look like a vanilla bean. Looks like one to me anyways. Wipe down. Where did that splash to? I see it. I found it this time. Normally I don't find it. <laughs> okay, guys. Vanilla bean. And this is what we're going to pipe on top of our ice cream cones. And I'm going to use this tip this time. Um, don't have it. It's not a Wilton or anything, but uh, yeah. So hopefully that looks a lot better than. The last two ice cream cones anyways. So let me get this thickened up and then we will bring you back for the piping, guys. Look at it, guys. I think I waited a little too long. It's like really solid. <laughs> Just a little bit ago I checked it and it was not that solid. But I come back like 10 minutes later and it's like, whoa. So... These look like crap. I'm gonna spray my alcohol so it sticks. Because these were done last night. Watch me not like this one either. We're just gonna pipe it like some freaking cupcakes. And that's just gonna have to be how it is. I hope I have enough. I knew I should have made more. Oh, stop it.
Oh, should have enough, I hope. <laughs> At least it'll look better than yesterday's mess. I probably won't be able to unmold these till, well, who knows, later on tonight. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's not bad looking, guys. Maybe that's what I should have done the first time, huh? My son ordered me a new mold and cutter. I'm so geeked. It should be coming today for my birthday. He's so silly. I told him he didn't have to do it. But he did it anyway. So, definitely be doing another loaf later on today. Alright, look how clean that bag came out. That's why I love doing that. By the way, um, I think I'm rather silly. I don't have any room on my countertop, so not even over there. My stove's taken up too. So I had to put all this in a, my other room over there. Oh yeah, I should have plenty. I might have too much actually. Oh, whoopsie. That just went everywhere somehow. I don't like these gloves, they're too loose. Need to get some more gloves. Oops. Okay, scrapey, scrapey. Scrape this bowl clean. The right, only thing bad about this is right now is that these are not actually scented in a vanilla bean or anything. It's this. Um, oh, what was it? The berry something, something berry. I can't remember. But yeah. So. Oh yeah, I should have plenty. I hope you guys can see me down here. Probably not. I'm sorry if you can't. Cut off this excess so it's not in my way. Put this down here. Get my bag. Yeah, for now I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna use this tight or this um, piping tape. Whoopsie! Smash that in the middle there. Hmm. I'm not wasting any. All right, and back to it. Make sure you guys are in view here. Matter of fact, I want to go in just a little bit. Yay! So you guys can see me better. If the camera will stop shaking. Okay. Yeah, this batter is getting really thick, you guys. Yeah, these look so much better than yesterday. Oh my god, that piping tip just aggravated me so bad. I was so excited to get those piping tips too. Oh, here comes my kid. My daughter.
Is that you, kiddo? Or is it the boogeyman? <laughs> she must have went to the bathroom. No, no, this doesn't happen. I don't think I ever filled the bag. Oops, sorry guys. Nice. Yeah, it wasn't nice this time. I don't know which tip to use for the ice cream cone. I'm going to have to actually get an ice cream scent. <laughs> putting any glitter on there because who puts glitter on ice cream all right so I got some leftover we'll just make some little stars or something out of them and there we go guys so I saved the bottoms yesterday was a disaster last night anyways and some of these are higher than others but they still look like ice cream I'm loving it. <laughs> yep, so. Alright guys, well, thanks for joining me for this little short video. Sorry I couldn't get you with the bottoms here. And, uh, maybe I'll turn it back on for the unmolding of these. Um, just to show, you know, how to unmold, but just to show you how easy it might be. Here, let me get a close-up, because I got these. This kind of looks like vanilla bean. Kind of. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm liking these guys. These are really good looking. Alright, well, thanks for joining me guys. Give me a thumbs up and uh, you guys have a blessed weekend and enjoy your holiday tomorrow. Bye bye now.